Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. Up until this point, we've spoken a lot about the melee blade master weapons, but considerably less so about the ranged offerings. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the light bow gun. As always, if you guys have missed any of the other videos I've been uploading, then you can find the complete Monster Hunter World playlist linked in the description box down below. And while you're there, if you want a chance to win a PS4 Pro, then I'm also running a giveaway which is conveniently linked down below as well. So for those of you guys looking for a PS4 to play Monster Hunter next year, then this is your chance to win. Of course, if you do enjoy this video, then a like would be super appreciated, and be sure to comment down below and let me know what you guys think, and if you have any questions. Now to begin with, for those of you that are new to Monster Hunter, the light bow gun is often referred to as a support weapon alongside the hunting horn, but much like the hunting horn, it is not just a support weapon, it is also a viable weapon to use solo, especially so when you factor in some of the cool new additions it has in Monster Hunter World. Both light and heavy bow guns are very similar in the way that they control, and there's not a great deal to go over. A lot of the variations in these weapons come from the ammo types you have at your disposal. The main difference between the two, however, is that with Light Bowgun you are considerably more mobile, able to move around with your weapon drawn at running speed, quickly repositioning, and using the plethora of ammo types available to inflict various types of damage on the monster. Where Heavy Bowguns are capable of dishing out much more firepower, Light Bowguns excel at what is typically known as status gunning, making use of various types of shots to dish out both elemental and status damage on the monster, hence why it often gets referred to as a support weapon. But regardless of where you place it, it is really fun to use, and thanks to the way that bow guns now move and handle in Monster Hunter World, paired with the fact that you don't need gunner armor to use them, then if you've ever been on the fence when it comes to trying ranged weapons, now is without a doubt the best time to start. Begin by diving into the hunter notes, you can see that, as mentioned, there's not a great deal to go over, and you'll also notice that there's no useful combos tab either. After all, it's a gun, there aren't really any combos per se. It's also worth calling out that you can change the button configurations for bow guns and bows in the options menu. If you prefer a more traditional setup whereby your shoot button is on triangle or circle, similar to that of your Blade Master weapons, then you can. In previous Monster Hunter games, this is something I've always swapped to. But in Monster Hunter World, this new button setup actually feels surprisingly natural. See, one of the main changes with bow guns is your ability to move and shoot. Still within the parameters of the weapon, so light bow gun is quick and nimble, meanwhile heavy bow gun is slower. But whereas in previous games you move around until the moment you take your shot, now you're able to run and gun, essentially. It actually feels somewhat reminiscent of, say, a third person shooter. And I mean that in a good way. The feeling when you're controlling it is somewhat comparable to, say, either ripping a mounted turret off in Halo and then kind of going out to third person and walking with it, or perhaps something more like, say, Lost Planet running and gunning. The feeling of the weapon is still very much there, but this newfound freedom makes it so much more fluid. And I think for that reason, anyone that has previously shied away from bowguns will be pleasantly surprised at how easy and fun they are now to pick up. Pressing R2 is by default your fire button. This will fire out whatever ammo type you currently have equipped and loaded. And then when your ammo runs out, pressing triangle will reload whatever you currently have equipped. You can hold down L2 to bring up your crosshairs. Now it's worth calling out that the first person camera of old, the ability to aim down sights essentially, that is gone in Monster Hunter World, at least as far as I can see, unless it's hidden behind some mystical button input, but it seems like it's been swapped out. You either fire from the hip when you're looking in the right direction, or you hold down L2 to bring up these crosshairs and ever so slightly zoom in. I imagine the decision behind this is based on the way that you now move. In the past, the first person camera made sense, since any time you were shooting, you were rooted to the ground, so you could move, set up, unload your shots, and then move again. Meanwhile now, the emphasis is on moving all the time, so a third person camera seems to make much more sense. I personally don't mind this at all, I think it actually feels really natural and doesn't really impede any of your gunning abilities. But then again, I've also never been a kind of gunner main, so I'll be interested to hear what you gunners out there think. Hopefully the gameplay does a good job of showing how fluid it can be. But anyway, diving back into the moves, holding down L1 and using either X or triangle will allow you to scroll through your different ammo types, kind of like the inverse to scrolling through your items. Now ammo types are something I won't be going into great detail in in this video, that is something I'll speak more about when I do my tutorials next year, since there's loads to go through and in the limited time I had playing I didn't really get a great deal to test each and every one of them. But during the hunt I did still swap where possible so you can still get a look at them in action. Pressing triangle and circle together will perform a small melee attack, this can be used to dish out KO damage if done to a monster's head, but in truth you won't use this a great deal, 
That being said, given that there are now environmental traps in Monster Hunter World, you can use this to say melee a flash fly to set it off, or a shock frog, or a poison plant, something similar like that. So there is still more value in having this at your disposal. With your weapon drawn, you can press X to sidestep, and if you chain multiple sidesteps together, you can also go into this little slide. It covers a fair bit of ground, so it's great for getting out of the way if you know a monster is rushing you. And then finally, one of the other cool things is this new Wyvern Blast attack. Now this is actually a special ammo type, as you can see listed on the weapon details page, similar to the Heavy Bowgun's Gatling Fire. So that does of course mean that not all Bowguns will have this, and similarly it could also mean there are other cool special ammo types we have yet to see. But this one specifically is used by pressing circle. You'll notice that the UI indicates that you have three of these, and every time you use one it goes down by one. With this, you place a bomb in the ground, that sets off explosions when it's attacked. That means that the monster can set it off if it say hits them or throws a fireball at them or something. And similarly, you can shoot it to set it off. Interestingly, it seems to last for a while. So the first few shots you set it off, it just kind of does mini explosions and then eventually it'll just blow up the whole thing. You can plant as few as one and as many as three at a time, but since they all dish out explosions together, planting them close by is actually a pretty good strategy. Once you've used them, like any other special ammo type, they regen over time. So you won't be able to use these as frequently as your base ammo types but you can still use them a fair bit throughout the hunt. They're especially good if the monster is immobilized or trapped. It's a great way to pair it with some damage ammo types to really rack up the numbers. Now outside of that, diving back to the weapon details page for a moment, you can see that there is an option for custom mods, which is something we expect from bowguns. In this particular scenario, there aren't any applied, but I'd be willing to bet the mods will be similar to what we've seen in the past, barrels, scopes, and the like. Although perhaps given the fact that we no longer go into first person scope, there may be something else in that place, but for the time being, we'll have to wait and see. Aside from that, there's not really much more for me to cover, at least until I can explore more bowguns and options in the final game. That is it. I'll leave you guys with another great Jagras hunt to watch so you can now see how the light bowgun really plays out in a fight. It is honestly super fun to use, and this is probably one of the first times in my Monster Hunter history where I'm actually super excited to use a ranged weapon. They've always been good, but I've just always been a blade master at heart. But this, this is fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out. Monster's been immobilized. Now's your chance. Using the ghillie mantle, you'll be hidden from a monster's sight. Dodge their attacks. You don't want to take hits like that head on.